Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to University of Cincinnati. Happy to have everyone here for what is an exciting day for all of us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and introduce Dr. Ono here, and then we'll get started. Before we go, I would ask you to please silence your cell phones. And uh, Dr. Ono will come up, make an announcement and an introduction. We'll have some Q&A afterwards, and then some time for one-on-ones after that. And we will have a, a wireless mic for one on one, so please raise your hand and we'll get the mic to you so it can go on the live stream and everything else. All right? Without further ado, Dr. Sanono. I'd like to thank all of you for coming uh, with, uh, at what will be, I think, a very, very momentous and historic time for the University of Cincinnati and our Bearcats. It is a distinct honor and pleasure for me to introduce the next Director of Athletics of the University of Cincinnati Bearcats. Mike Bone, please uh, give him a round of applause. I'd also like to take this moment to recognize and welcome his wonderful wife, Kim, and their son, Brandon. Brandon, I don't know, they're right up there. Please stand up. <laughs> Mike Bone is an extraordinary person. He's a seasoned leader a pre proven innovator, a trusted partner, and a community builder. But perhaps above all else, he's a lifelong fan of college athletics. His career spans 30 years and includes multiple record-setting achievements at several top-notch institutions. At the University of Colorado, he completely transformed every aspect of that program from fundraising to facilities to the fan experience. Now, I've got to tell you, his connectivity with the faculty, students, and staff of that institution, in fact, all the institutions that he has been part of, is a big part of what attracted us to him as our next and the 15th Director of Athletics. He also raised the bar to historic heights in academic achievement for the scholar athletes there. And I know from talking to a lot of people that he deeply cares about the scholar athletes at all of the institutions at which he has worked. He's also somebody who's deeply connected to the community, to the alumni, uh, and to all the fans uh, at the institutions that he has worked at. And he has a tremendous amount of energy and passion. And you'll see that when you, you hear from him directly. He is somebody that knows how to manage uh, an institution's budget, the athletic program's budget. And as you know, um, his department at University of Colorado in 2013 uh, was ranked the most economically efficient department in the nation in 2013, and that's something that's pretty important to me, um, somebody that can actually manage their own budget uh, and, in fact, raise a good, good bit of resources uh, for a department. But perhaps what's most talked about in terms of his accomplishments at Colorado was his ability to lead moving that university into the Pac-12 conference. It took a remarkable amount of connectivity, vision, drive, and diplomacy, which is something which is essential for athletic departments in the current landscape. As you also know, before Colorado, he was at San Diego State, a program which has one of the top five basketball programs in the nation. As you know, while he was director of athletics at the University of Colorado, uh, his uh, uh, basketball team also won that uh, conference title. And so he's able to move uh, programs at all of the institutions that he has been part of. The other thing that you're going to see firsthand very soon is that he is a communications and marketing genius. And it has been really exciting to talk to Mike um, several days ago and today about all the ideas that he has to uh, send out the message about the great uh, program of the University of Cincinnati Bearcats and his vision to get the word out both locally uh, and nationally. As you know, his first director of athletics experience was at the University of Idaho, and he successfully transformed that program into the Division I-A ranks in a very short period of time. Um, earlier, uh, before he became a director of athletics at Idaho and, and subsequently at San Diego State uh, and the University of Colorado. He also worked at the College Football Association, the precursor to what is currently known 
as a bowl championship series or the BCS uh, league. And there he gained invaluable experience working directly with the media in deals with ABC Sports and ESPN. That's another thing that was very, very attractive to this institution in choosing him as our next, next director of athletics. So I just uh, hope you can see that we have been able to attract to the University of Cincinnati somebody who's truly exceptional, who is a, is a seasoned professional that has really moved three great institutions forward. And I have every optimism and confidence that Mike Bone is the person that will move the University of Cincinnati program to even greater heights. The future of Bearcat athletics has never been brighter. And with that, let me introduce to you the next director of athletics for the University of Cincinnati, Mike Bone. Thank you very much, Dr. Ono. Doggone it, marching band, you guys are so awesome to be here. Thank you on a game night to come out and uh, as the uh, heartbeat of the program and the heartbeat of the university, thank you. Thank you for coming and members of the Spirit Squad. And uh, I know it's game day and uh, that just means a lot because obviously the emotion of intercollegiate athletics and, and a sense of pride and being a Bearcat is special. So thank you very much for coming and uh, hopefully it won't be too long before I can learn the fight song and, uh, and get it down and, and do a great job with you. But uh, I first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for coming today. Uh, I'd like to thank Dr. Ono for the confidence uh, he has in me and his uh, momentum that he's built already here at the University of Cincinnati and uh, the trustees for their support and the momentum they've provided uh, on their uh, side of the ledger as well and when you look at teamwork and you talk about the University of Cincinnati and you research them as a candidate to potentially join that team the sense of team came through loud and clear and uh, that's impressive to me that's attractive to me and I think that everyone in this room should take pride in that knowing that teamwork and collaboration and, and a commitment together to do some great things is incredibly exciting for to me and uh, you should be very proud of that and I recognize that as, as a great sense of strength for us and uh, again Dr. Arnold talked about momentum and I think that's obviously very clear with what uh, Coach Tuberville has done in a very short time and what Mick has going we're going to have an opportunity to hopefully keep that momentum going tonight and I think when you look at the branding of the institution as a whole you start thinking about all the wonderful opportunities we have to fuel the intensity of interest in this program and how important that is. And so I think from day one, that'll be a top priority. And that's why I saluted the band first and our spirit squad and our coaches and everybody working together as a team. And it will be imperative for us to do that and, and continue to make great strides. We certainly want to take advantage of the momentum that the institution currently has in, in pulling that together. And uh, again, I'm extremely honored and proud to serve with you and to work with you in, in moving uh, Bearcat athletics forward. And uh, obviously, again, I believe our future is very, very bright as well. Uh, at this time, I'd like to open up to questions. I thought it sounded like the mascot was trying to ask a question over there, but nobody was paying attention to him. Okay, great, great. Mike, welcome to Cincinnati. Chad Brendel from Bearcat Journal. Um, Thank you. This is the seventh such press conference in a 10-year span between football coaches and, and athletic directors. What's your message to a fan base that maybe is growing a little weary of, of going through this process again and, and your intentions long-term uh, for this position? Well, thank you very much for asking that question because I think that is really germane to what the, pr the president talked to me about and it's important to him. And when he asked me that question, the first question I asked him was, well, tell me about your longevity and your commitment to, to the University of Cincinnati. And obviously he had a very emphatic, I'm committed and, and I'm in it for the long haul. And I think you look at what Dr. Ono and the trustees have been doing associated with attracting 
Coach Tuberville and putting that together and their commitment to and, and Mick's longstanding connection to, to Cincinnati and what he's trying to do and their contractual uh, moves to put that together involving all the business side of, of intercollegiate athletics are dramatically different than they've been in the past. And I think when you look at, again, the momentum and the commitment, the stadium construction, all the different things moving, it gives you a sense of stability. And, th and that's important. And uh, it's something that's important to me in putting that together and making that happen. So I believe it's dramatically different than it ever has been in the past. It's a different day, a different sense of momentum. And again, my hat's off to the president and the trustees and other leaders and donors, fans that are helping put that together. And I think that's imperative in building the intensity of interest among the fan base because when they begin to see that, they begin to care more and donate more and generate more excitement and enthusiasm. And I know that whether it's a, a student athlete in any of our sports recruits, you just signed a wonderful recruiting class. Congratulations to our coaching staff for pulling that together. But that's what they want to see, full stadiums, rabid fan base, continuity, a consistent commitment. And uh, I believe it's, it's never been better. Uh, obviously, I'm not as familiar as I'd like to be on all that history, but I'm led to, be, to believe it's never been better. Just say something, just to chime in. Uh, Mike Bone uh, spent uh, greater than eight years at the University of Colorado. And when we interviewed him, he made it very clear that it, where, wherever he accepts a position, um, that he's committed to building that and making a lasting legacy uh, with his employment there. So this is a person of integrity. This is a person who very clearly uh, articulated his commitment to the University of Cincinnati. That was key in the interview process. Mike, certainly another talker within the fan base is where UC fits in the bigger picture long term in the big conferences throughout the country. How much was that a discussion with President Ono during this process, just seeing where this program fits in the, in the big picture conference-wise in the future? Well, obviously, th that's, that's the issue and the opportunity. And we talked a great deal about it. And I believe the trustees were very clear about their commitment in trying to help. And I think when you have the trustees and the president and the athletic department and our coaches in alignment with great synergy, that's attractive to, to whether it's uh, other institutions within the current league that maybe are envious about the position and that support and that teamwork that is in place. But uh, we talked at, at, at length about it and, and understand the landscape. And I believe I have a very uh, good sense of what's going on across the country. I lived it myself uh, when I led the uh, the move to, to, to the Pac-12, and I understand how important that is. And, uh, but again, what, what's attractive to that? It's attractive to have president, coaches, athletic director, fan base, students, alumni, and creating a high intensity of interest to grab national attention and putting that together. So clearly that's something we spent a lot of time talking about. And uh, uh, when I asked the president to talk about the priorities for the institution, that was the number one priority that he listed. And he understands that league affiliation and the opportunities associated with that are a great way to help build the institution as a whole. And you look at, uh, at moves across the country, and certainly for my previous institution, it's about the academic standing, about the rallying alumni, about all the different research opportunities that come along that. And I think that's what's so impressive about Dr. Rono is he wants to win. But he also understands that he wants a, an athletic program, one with great integrity and great passion. But he also understands how an athletic program can play a major role for the betterment of the institution. And that's something that I embrace 100% and salute his leadership and his willingness to, to boldly come out and talk about that. I just want to say that one of the things about Mike Bone that really attracted uh, the group of people that were helping me with this selection was the fact that he has been a sitting athletic director of multiple programs. This is an individual that is very, very well known and highly respected. Um, that has connectivity uh, across the landscape of uh, intercollegiate sports. Um, and uh, we really, really are very fortunate to have someone of his caliber leading this uh, athletic program. Anybody else have questions? I'd just like to, to conclude by again uh, saying thank you to everyone for coming today and thank you to Dr. Ono 
And I would be remiss if I didn't say, go Bearcats. Thank you. That was well done. Thank you very much. Appreciate the opportunity to do that with you.